Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are doing a portfolio update. As you know, we started this portfolio back in 2021 with around $2,767, and since then, we have been growing it pretty consistently. Our main objective for this portfolio is to have a long-term growth trajectory to build wealth over time, so I am demonstrating that this is achievable by following certain rules. To start off, we have no huge risky stocks in this particular portfolio because 50 to 80% of our portfolio at different times are made up of mutual funds, index funds, and ETFs. Some of my favorite ETFs, of course, would include the likes of VTI, SCHD, and QQQM. VTI is the backbone of the portfolio because it is the most diversified, which gives us safety. Then we go over to SCHD, which is our dividend investment, which will consist reinvest their own dividends back into this ETF so our next dividends are even greater and this still occurs during times of macroeconomic volatility. So even while the stock market is trending downwards, we are continuously reinvesting our dividends because once the stock market recovers, those dividends will make us even more dividends. And then lastly, we have a QQQM as our strong growth ETF. However, we did pick and choose some singular stocks in 2021, 2022, 2023, and of course, now in 2024, which we will go over. The portfolio has had some ups and downs considering that we jumped from $2,000 up to $26,000 and then from $26,000 up to $50,000 that then transformed itself into $54,000 then to $60,000. Also, if you see some large jumps, it's either because we had a very good run in regards to some of our stocks that we have invested into or it means that I didn't do a portfolio update in a while and that's why the portfolio value gapped up pretty heavily. And then from $60,000, we went to $69,000 to then $75,000. Then we got very close to $100,000 coming in at $91,000. And that would be over a two-year time span. However, the news gets even better because we did end up breaking $100,000 in our last video to where now we have a portfolio value worth $114,000 over the span of less than a few years. However, in 2024, particularly in our last video, I gave a handful of stocks that I am going to add to this portfolio and we will see how this positively benefits it over the long term, meaning over the next few years. And those companies were Tesla, Berkshire Hathaway, BlackRock, S&P Global, the NASDAQ, JPM, which is JP Morgan Chase, Reality Income, KKR and Company, State Street, Mercado Libre, Moody's Corporation, MSCI Inc., Fact Set Research, and Intercontinental Exchange. We also have their prices over here to the left to where I lay out what they are currently worth as of May 23rd of 2024. If you want a more in-depth explanation regarding why I have invested into these companies, feel free to watch our last portfolio update. But recently, I added two more stocks to these singular stock investments, even though the majority of our portfolio is made up of index funds, mutual funds, and ETFs. And the two other stocks I decided to add recently was ASML and Taiwan Semiconductor. The reason behind this is because artificial intelligence is exploding right now to where companies like NVIDIA, AMD, Intel, and Super Microcomputer, as well as other companies like Palantir Technologies, are riding this wave of artificial intelligence and technology. However, a lot of these companies actually rely on other companies to manufacture various chips, GPUs, and CPUs, which is why I am investing into those makers. I am investing into the actual manufacturers of this technology instead of the ones who just design these overall chips, and that would be ASML and Taiwan Semiconductor. So overall, I would think that these are very good in investments to have over the long term and not just over the next year. But what I really want to hone in on is that we had $114,000 last time we checked this portfolio in our portfolio update, but now we have $120,000 in this small YouTube portfolio. I really want to emphasize that again, this is a very safe portfolio that we have steadily built over time by investing into very strong fundamental companies and very strong ETFs that have good returns over the last 10 years. 
Bitcoins. So to acquire $120,000 over the last three or so years, to me, is pretty impressive, especially because we are doing this very safely. So if you would want to grow your portfolio at a very steady rate over time, I would encourage you to take a little bit of your paycheck every two weeks and invest into ETFs, mutual funds, or index funds, such as VTI, SCHD, or QQQM. And you don't even have to invest into those particular ETFs because there are better ETFs depending on your age, your risk tolerance, your investing style, and any other variables that might be specific to you. That's why what works for me may not necessarily work as well for you. And this is why you always need to make sure to do your own research. So I just wanted to give everyone a quick portfolio update on this YouTube portfolio to say that it is still working pretty successfully. And depending on how the market goes, you can see that it's starting to downtrend a little bit, and that's why I am heavily investing even more money into the various ETFs and index funds, and even those single stocks that I mentioned earlier earlier. Because while the stock market is falling, that is the best time to invest into very fundamentally solid companies. A lot of investors decide to scare away or sell their shares during times of macroeconomic volatility, but I take the complete opposite approach. While the stock prices of these great stocks are falling, that's when I decided to buy more into these stocks. So when I see Tesla falling in their share price, I'm just scooping up more and more stock because I think Tesla is an absolute steal below $200 per share, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Overall, I would also love to hear whether or not you like my current picks for this year and what companies you may want to add to this particular portfolio. And with that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now. Subscribe if you are new and I'll see you in the next YT video.